Multiple active shooters on site. Move quickly and clear the area. This is not your dad's airsoft gun. What I have in my hands is the Unit 4 from Unit Solutions. It kind of fills the gap between airsoft and those you know, expensive marking munitions like you know, Simunition and UTM. And it was kind of has a similar history to me as well uh, because the guys who designed this kind of started off with airsoft, found the limitations because they wanted to start off with that, and then eventually we were like, you know what, we need to go back to the drawing board and build something better because this is a training first platform. But before we get into it, let me kind of just give you my thoughts on training and in my whole theory as well. So in my personal opinion, you should be trying to do as much as you possibly can. Obviously, it's hard to do everything, which is why a lot of people get very deep and very narrow into any one thing. And I, I'm totally complicit in that as well, because you have dry fire, building your foundation, then you have live, live fire, testing out those theories. And then you have competition shooting is where now you're taking it a next another step and then taking those theories and putting it into a competitive setting and seeing where your standing are, seeing where your mistakes are, and then, then allows you to go back to the drawing board and kind of work on things a little bit. Then you have force on force, the whole world of force on force. It's everything from those CQB classes to mill some events and everything in between where you can kind of test your metal. It's, it's like the competition setting, but it's different because it's more of a open format and it's kind of anything goes, really, who, who wins, who loses. Um, but it's a great way of testing your tactics because you're not really testing your tactics in a competition setting, but in the realm of force on force, it's really your mind versus theirs. So you're not just going against the clock, you're going against the other person's brain. And But then in comes this technology. So this right here, allows you to kind of help fill that gap between dry fire and the flat range and the force on force side. Uh, and when they wanted to design this, they wanted to make something robust because one of the downsides with airsoft is that it's, it's still made for fun. It's still made for looks first, function second. It's still for a hobby, even though it's come a long, long way. And for guys that have been following me for a long time, you know, because I've started with Airsoft for instance, like 2006 or seven, which that wasn't even the earliest birth of Airsoft, to be honest. And you've seen my evolution through my time in the industry. I've seen so much change with the technology and it's gotten a lot better. But a lot of it is still made overseas in Asia and it's still made out of like pot metal, a lot of stuff, and they're getting better. Um, and it's still made for fun first. Um, and what happens is, is when it comes to your training, you have to look at what you're trying to get out of it. Sometimes the prop might not even be a factor. If you're really just testing decision making and tactics, then the prop is really secondary. But if you want to add and incorporate, you know, let's say you're you've, you're pretty decent with your skill sets and your tactics, and you've built a decent foundation. Now you want to implement your shooting skills on top of that. That's where something like this comes in, where you need a serious training platform, so that way you're getting the most and bang for your buck. You're getting the best real end results that you could possibly want because now you're really building on your skill sets 
um, and you have a training tool that's going to allow you to do that. And because it's a training tool first and not something designed for a hobby, um, it was kind of designed to be like, hey, you can you know, give this to somebody fresh off the rack and they'll be ready to hit the ground running. There's not as many finicky things that you have to do because in Airsoft, it's like there's battery charging and, you know, different hop up adjustment. I'll get into that. And all these other things that kind of go into it that, you know, us, if we're hobbyists, we'll take that time to learn all that stuff. But, you know, you give a bunch of good gas blowback guns to a law enforcement unit, they're going to break them. <laughs> they're going to break them because they're going to treat them like how they would treat a normal training gun. And a lot of airsoft guns just aren't quite built up for that tolerance yet. And the ones that are, are really expensive, which, hey, it's great. There's a lot of awesome technology out there. But that's what's kind of cool about this is because it's on the higher end, but it's not out of reach for your average civilian. And uh, speaking of the materials and the durability, the first thing is, one, you can drop the magazine. I'm not going to do it right now, but you can literally drop this magazine onto the deck, which a lot of gas blowback airsoft guns will, you'll break the magazine by doing that. They're just fragile. You can tack reload a lot of mags, but a lot of airsoft magazines, they don't really do well when you drop them over and over and over and over and over again. They just tend to break. Um, and of course, the base material, the receiver, um, is actually a forged uh, 7000 series uh, aluminum, which is really cool. Uh, so, and what's also cool is that it's classified as a non-firearm. So that's one of the reasons why you can buy this right now as a civilian. Now, because it's a non-firearm, even though the receiver looks identical to a real receiver, you can't swap the bulge, you can't swap the upper onto this lower, you can't make this into a real gun. So this is a true 100% dedicated training gun as identified by the blue upper and the muzzle device. But you can also change out the, the, the rail system, you can change out the stock, and you can dress it up with whatever optics and grips that you want. And I believe they're gonna come out with more rail system packages in the future if you kinda want something a little bit more customized out of the box. But you, you get an M-Lock rail system, you know, straight from the get-go, so you can put whatever you want on it. You can dress it kind of like how I have it right now. Um, the next thing that I want to talk about, like I mentioned before, is the hop-up, right? Because the the design of this kind of was inspired by airsoft technology, it basically has like a fixed hop-up system, if there, and you will, if you will. Now, in airsoft, you're having so many different guns and so many different platforms and so many different ammo types, you need a hop-up because you're going to be shooting different ammo sometimes and you'll need to adjust for that in, inside the gun. With this, because they control everything, they control the munitions and the gun, and it's all like everything's designed for their spec because they want it to match uh, as close as possible to the real trajectory of a 5.56 round or UTM round and whatnot. So the hop-up unit is fixed. You don't need to ingest it. You literally load it up, gas it up, and go, and you're gonna get good trajectory and good distance outside the gate. And for a lot of training munitions and stuff like that, you typically find that they're pretty much great for medium range slash CQB. And that's really kind of what they're designed for. Now, when it cuts, speaking of that, I think where this really, really, really shines, and Airsoft has tried this. Airsoft has tried making some kind of marking munition where they put like powder on the BB and stuff, and it just, it just failed. Um, and of course, on the other end, you got Simunition UTM, which is extremely expensive and will damage the environment. And you have twice as much dunnage to pick up sometimes. And it's kind of messy, um, but it's also now restricted by the ATF. So that is where <laughs> this like kind of just comes out of nowhere and is really a solution for that because they basically have non-marking, which is kind of like an eight millimeter airsoft projectile, if you will. You have marking um, projectiles, and then you also have blank um, T-packs. They're blank ammo, basically. But the marking munition is really where this shines because if you desire to have marking munitions in your force on force scenarios, this is the gun to deal with. They're in the recoil is extremely consistent uh, and it's just, it matches with pretty much anything else you'd use on the training side with a 5.56 rifle and everything like that. So it's gonna feel one to one. Uh, and I believe that's where this shines amazingly above the rest because of its price point, accessibility, um, the durability as well. It just, it's like more durable than airsoft and more accessible than UTM and simunition. So it really fills in that gap. Also, a couple things to note. Um, the FPS of the unit uh, four is about 
375 to 425 FPS, kind of depending on the temperature. Uh, obviously, in terms of how many shots you're gonna get at each mag, you're gonna get 30 rounds in each mag, because they're loaded for real capacity, essentially. So that's how many shots you're gonna get out of them, but they're looking at um, ways of potentially getting more shots per magazine in the future. So you, you might see some like reload packs or something like that. Um, also, one additional note I forgot to mention in terms of the ammo, the marking munitions comes in a variety of colors, like blue, red, orange. Um, so if you want the more realistic color, I choose red, but you can have other different colors, which are really nice, especially if you have multiple teams or like op four and blue four. And so you can tell who was shooting and who hit who. Um, so that's really, really nice. And uh, of course, I just love how streamlined the package is. And uh, it's actually really easy to change out the T-Packs. And the T-Packs is basically the guts inside the magazine. And this thing is, this thing's beefy. This thing's durable. You can <laughs> toss it. You can, you know, it'll fall out of the magazine. And it's not going to break. Um, so at the end of the day, I think if you want to find out if this is right for you, the, you just have to ask yourself the question is, what is it you need to do? Are you doing the kind of training where it's more based on your decision making? Are you working on your skill sets? Do you need a training platform first or if, are you more of a hobbyist? Um, when it comes to the whole variety of guns and equipment out there, it's, there's, there's so much stuff out there. It's like a full-time job trying to figure out what to pick. And that's kind of why I'm here. Um, but I think if you are looking for a training first gun that fills the gap, that really kind of is familiar, but takes things another level with the marking munition capability, um, this is a great platform to pick from. And I believe there's they actually have some deals on them on their website too. You can get different bundles and get multiple magazines, T-Packs and the base gun. You can just build it out however you want once you get it. And I mean, I even threw on a different stock and I've got my whole optics set up on here. Um, but this is a fantastic training tool, especially if you are coming from the real steel side. Uh, and you want something that's as durable as your real gun, this is gonna be it. Because frankly, I have snapped more airsoft guns in half than I'd like to admit, especially some of my best ones. Like, you know, just, that's just the limitation of the technology. They're not necessarily making a lot of airsoft guns out of 7,000 series aluminum. Most of them are made out of pot metal. So that is definitely one thing to consider when you're choosing a training platform for you. So keep that in mind. Hopefully that helped out. And uh, yeah, big shout out to Unit Solutions for um, you know supporting the channel and for making this video possible because I've been wanting to do a video on this gun for a while. It's been out for like two years, but I think it's really become a proven training platform across the industry. There's so many professionals using this thing and it's legitimately really good. So be sure to check out Unit Solutions. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.